everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be discussing my top 10 red lipsticks that I use consistently. Um, these are the ones that I really turn to for myself that I really like. Wearing red lipstick can get a little tricky. It took me a long time to feel confident to wear red lipstick, especially because it's very hard to find the right red to complement your skin tone. And like I always tell everyone, especially my clients, is that typically most makeup artists say that my skin tone is a cool tone. So they'll give me like a lip, a red lip color that honestly just I don't like the way it looks on me, even though they're saying that it should be perfect for me because of the fact of my skin tone. So number one, I always tell everyone, wear what you feel best in. Just because someone is telling you, oh, your skin tone is like this, this is how you should wear it, no. So the ones that um, I really love and that I go towards, I guess, most of the time, are right in front of me right now. And so let's start. Number one, the one that I always go to, which I love, and I find this to be beautiful for pretty much anyone. I feel this will complement any skin tone. This is the NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And what's nice about it is that it glides right onto the lips, it stays put, it doesn't budge, it's matte, but it's not um, too matte where it's like very drying to the lips. So it just, it looks so beautiful when it's put on. I just absolutely love it. The second red lip color that I love is going to be the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Besso. So this red is a little brighter than the NARS Cruella. This is more matte and it does glide on. It has such a nice uh, feel to it when the lipstick is going on the lips. It will dry to a super matte finish. I mean, it's not going to budge. And that's what I like about it. So when I'm wearing this and I have somewhere to go, I just feel like the, the re I don't have to reapply as often as I would with other lipsticks that I have. So I also like glossy lacquer stains. And Miraness is a company from Australia and they have the most amazing lacquer stain lip glosses that are just truly amazing. The pigment on them is incredible and they last all day. So as the gloss tends to fade throughout the day, what'll happen is you will get this really nice stain on your lips, which is great. So this is Miraness in the shade number two almost red it's just like a it's not a fire engine red but it's just really pretty and I have to tell you that the pigment on this is truly truly amazing it is fantastic I have several of these colors I actually did a review I think on these last year from Miranus um, to show everyone the colors that they have but every person that I know that has picked these up after my recommendation has loved them. So if you're looking for a really nice, vibrant red that's going to last, whether it's for day or night, this is like one of the awesome colors that you could choose. Now, from the drugstore, I am really loving number 645 from Maybelline, and this is called Red Revival. It goes onto the lips, it's creamy, it's extremely pigmented for a drugstore lipstick. It doesn't have any scent to it, and I feel that this is also a great match for all skin tones. Especially if you have a complexion like myself, this will look really, really good on you, and it will complement you, and you won't be afraid to wear it because it will look that good with your skin tone. Next one is the Laura Geller Love Me Do Lip Crayon. And this is in the shade Plum Freeze. And the reason why I chose this to be part of my top 10 was because I'm wearing it today so that you guys can see it. It has that reddish uh, undertone of plum inside of it, but it's nice. It's a little bit deeper, deeper in the red family. It's ultra hydrating. That's what I like about it. Very smooth application. It's moisturizing. It, it feels very good on the lips and it's something that you can wear every day. You can wear this to the office. You can wear this after work. You can wear this to go pick up your kids from school. You can pretty much wear this color any day of the week. Now I'm going to go in with ColourPop and this comes in the shade. This is called the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is in the shade LBB, and this has more of like that cherry 
undertone to it, maybe a little bit of wine in there. Uh, I do like the pigment of this lipstick. I think it's fantastic. Last but not least, um, I was introduced to Patricia De Leon. She is um, actually a very well-known Latin model and actress. She has uh, teamed up with Anise, which is a natural skincare company. And if any of you are matte lipstick fans, you are in the right place because you are absolutely going to love these lipsticks that she has. They are just simply incredible. They're super pigmented. They're made with healthy skincare skin products. Um, they just, they glide onto the skin. They stay on all day. They do not budge. I mean, these are really quality, quality products. So the first one that I love out of her reds is the shade Raw. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see that sometimes I post pictures of certain makeup looks that I do, and you will see that I've used this um, lipstick quite a few times in some of my photos. I have two vampy colors that I love. These are also from Patricia De Leon with the company Anise, and these are her Pro Matte lipsticks. The two that I have here are Shiraz, which is number 07, and then I have Tango in Paris, which is number 14. The reason why I wanted to show these two additional colors here is because I know that these reds are not for everyone and I know not all of you will like these types of reds but there are some of you that like more of the deeper vampy red almost plum but I really wouldn't even say plum just that vampy reddish color so uh, these are the two that I love the most and uh, so out of all these are the ones that I pretty much turn to all the time. And I just wanna show you guys one extra little thing. Um, that'll be my 10th lipstick, but it's it's um, it's actually my what I keep in my kit. Um, I do have this little color wheel of red lipsticks that I cut up and I put together in here. I purchased this from Michaels, and this is part of my lipstick collection. And the reason why I did this is because it makes it easier for me to see the reds that I have. So I'll just show all of you guys quickly. These are basically the reds that I have used consistently over the past 10 years. So the first one is going to be Fashion Revival. These are from MAC. Second one is Living Legend. We have Russian Red, Ruby Woo, Rebel, Ak Cherry from Revlon, and Red She Said from MAC. I don't know if they still have the Red She Said, I think they do, but so like I said, these come with me at all times. And then the two, the two lip liners that I honestly um, keep with me at all times as well is Cherry from MAC. And then also there is this one from Miraness. And this is called the Racy Reds. And basically it is it has two different types of reds. It's a dual-ended lip pencil. I'll show you here. And you can even line your whole lip with these. as a lipstick or put your lipstick over it. And what I like is that they really stay on all day. So there you go, they pretty much resemble each other. So that's it everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video on my top 10 red lipsticks, my favorites, ones that I pretty much use frequently all the time, what goes in my kit and what I use when I'm going out to a function or whatever else I have going on for myself if I'm going to meet with clients, etc. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to share this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, I'll be putting a complete list of all the products that I mentioned in my blog post that will go up shortly. So you'll see that, and that link will take you to my blog. When you get to my blog, there might be a little pop-up that comes up. Just subscribe. Once you enter your email address, you will always get an email of when my blog posts are live and then you'll be able to um you'll bypass that 
and then you'll be able to see the list of all the products that I mentioned today. I am also going to be doing my top products of 2015, but instead of me doing one whole video, I'm going to actually break it down into the products that I like the most, like foundations, concealers, skincare, etc. So get ready, you will be seeing a few more videos lately from me breaking down my tops of 2015. So thank you so much, you guys. I love you, and I'll see all of you in my next video.